Typical Canadians, it was okay to spend and borrow as much as they like because interest rates were going to be so low for so long. Now, when Canadians face this affordability crisis and high inflation and interest rates, Governor Macklem and this finance minister seem unconcerned with the potential for a debt default crisis. Instead, these Liberals are so ignorant, they keep spending on inflationary waste like their insider consultant contracts. Random Liberals... Uh, the Honourable Member can continue, and I would ask uh, the Honourable Member uh, to not interrupt. If he has a point of order, he can rise on the point of order, uh, but he shouldn't be interrupting uh, while someone else has the floor. Uh, the Honourable Member for Calgary Forest Line. Random Liberals, like the Bank of Canada Governor Tiff Macklem, former Governor Bank, uh, of the Bank of Canada Mark Carney, former Finance Minister Bill Monroe, and former Deputy Prime Minister and Finance Minister John Manley, all warned that inflation is a domestic issue and this government is overspending. Debt is only going up and nothing is being done to address it. Madam Speaker, Canadians are going hungry. Seniors are turning off the heat just so they can afford groceries. And young adults live in their parents' basements because home ownership is nothing but a dream. Household and national debt are at absolute highs. Conservatives are ready to come in and clean up this mess. We're ready to rein in the wasteful spending and cut the rising taxes. Canadians mean, need more of their money left in their pockets. We will unleash Canada's amazing private sector to create the technological advancements needed to address climate change. We will unleash the home builders who will build more affordable housing supply and the farmers who will grow affordable food to stock our grocery stores and that can feed the world. We will get gatekeepers and red tape out of the way of our world-class energy sector, which can provide all Canadians with affordable, clean, Canadian energy. This is how to address this affordability crisis. This is how to grow an economy without increasing inflation. This is how to actually help Canadians. Enough with the corporate handouts and insider contracts. Enough with the government waste and out of control inflationary spending. Enough with the record deficits and doubling the debt. Fire the gatekeepers and high-priced consultants, rein in the spending, and ax a failed carbon tax, and let's get Canadians back on track and make Canada the freest country in the world. Thank you. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Tourism and Associate Minister for Finance. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. The Honourable Member for his speech. He spent some time discussing the importance of uh, building homes and of the supply side of uh, the, the housing crisis uh, here in Canada. And we, as a government, put forward a national housing strategy which would address um, that very issue. And the Conservatives voted against it. So I would like to understand why it is that the member opposite uh, talks about the importance of building new homes and yet votes against the very measure that would create more supply of housing here in Canada. The member for Calgary Forest Lawn. Madam Speaker, we will always vote against inflationary measures that will only hurt Canadians further. None of those measures have been working. It's obvious to see when rents have doubled, mortgages have doubled, home housing, the house prices in this country have doubled all the way across. That doesn't make any sense at all. This government is absolutely great at blaming everyone else for their own inflationary problems. It's kind of like me and the member from Kingston the Islands blaming other people for being as big as we are. It's like saying that all the environment is the reason why we are the way we are. No, it's because we did that to ourselves. Much like this government is the one that spent so much money that they created this inflationary crisis and random liberals agree with us. Yeah. <laughs> Questions and comments.